During this start of the second week of testimony, jurors heard from members of the SWAT team, both Pittsburgh police officers and paramedics, about what they encountered inside the synagogue while the shooting was underway. First on the stand, Officer Michael Salduti testified as he entered the synagogue building, he continued to come across bodies of victims in pools of blood. Salduti said as he and Officer Tim Matson entered the darkened room where Bowers was shooting, Matson fell, hit by gunfire. Salduti dove in front of the other SWAT officer, using his own body armor to shield the wounded officer. Salduti could hear gunfire and see Bowers' muzzle flashes moving across the dark room. Salduti said his own weapon ran out of ammo as they were under fire and he had to leave the room to reload. Salduti later fired through the wall and Bowers called out he was hit. Salduti said the shooter specifically said, quote, the Jews are killing our women and children and I had to do this. Former paramedic Eric Barazato testified coming upon victim after victim inside the synagogue while the gunfire was underway. Most of them dead from severe head wounds. As Barazato testified, the prosecution showed graphic evidence photos of the victim's bodies at the crime scene. Judge Robert Colville explained to the jury they should not let the photos stir their emotions or prejudice them. He cautioned observers in the courtroom the photos could be emotionally moving, but asked them not to display their reactions. The defense argued against showing the photos, but the prosecution said they were necessary and there were so many to show because Bowers killed 11 people. Testimony resumes Tuesday morning at federal court downtown Bob Mayo Pittsburgh's Action News 4.